So in this video we'll be showing you how to use the software to set the descriptions on the categories or departments. So on the CatLab 4, 5 and 6 you're able to change the descriptions and we have 16 categories you can use and these get reported on the uh, Z reads etc at the end of the day. So the first thing we need to do on the till is turn the key around to the PRG because we're going to be sending data to it. I've plugged the cable into the back of the till and I have my USB port plugged into it and I've made the appropriate changes and settings on the actual uh, system itself. So now once we've got this all set up, we're now ready to set the departments up. So we simply go into the software, I'll maximise this, which I've already loaded up, and we click on departments here. This now gives us the list of departments, so in this case I've got department 1, set as grocery. The price, usually you would leave this as open because you want to put variable prices into the grocery department, but if you said had a, a for example, a department that was local newspaper and it was the same price, then you can have it with a fixed price, so it worked like a pub till almost. The tax item is if you're using um, tax rates or VAT rates on the machine, then this enables you to be able to put that tax rate or link that tax rate to that category or department. And also as well, is the, is the actual item itemised? So in other words, does it keep adding to the actual uh, totals as it goes along? Or is it a single sale that you just want to press a button and the draw to open? So once we're happy with that, um, we can literally go into here. This is put a number two in. And we can type uppercase or lowercase. So in this case, I'll just call it test. I don't want a price. And um, what you can see here is if I click on this over here, We've got the tax rates, which as you can see haven't been set, and we show you how to set these tax rates in a separate video. It's itemised and we're ready to go. So once we're happy with all that set up as we want it, then we can simply update to ECR. That is, are we sure we want to override it? And we choose yes. Now hopefully you can see that on the display of the cash register, we have two little beeps and number two come up, which means it's two packets of data has been sent to it, e.g. the two categories or departments. If we now turn and press the clear button on the till, turn the key back around to the reg and put some sales into department one and department two, we can now see that the information that we've put onto the PC and sent to the till has now appeared on the cash register. Thank you for watching this video on how to program the departments.